Welcome back, denizens of the night, to V Rising. The Sacred Silver Mine has been tweaked with the Gloomrot update. The gate at the front is now locked. You'll have to go in through the side entrance to the northeast of the mine to get in. Just be careful, this is a one-way trip. To make the most of this trip, you should bring some silver resistance with you so you can carry as much silver ore as you can. When you try to leave the mine, you will find our next target, Sir Magnus the Overseer. You can technically leave without fighting him, but why would you want to do that? Before you start the fight, you can free the prisoners by the entrance to the mine and they will fight with you. During the fight with Sir Magnus, prisoners will continue to spawn in and fight against him. Very well, vampire. I will put you in your place. Sir Magnus uses four abilities. He has a spin attack that you cannot counter. This is my duty. He's got a lunge attack you have to avoid using either your dash or counter attacks. He uses a basic slash attack, but follows it up by shooting three ice lances at you. You can counter it or avoid the ice attack by moving sideways right before he shoots them. He also has a downward slam that shoots a huge gust of wind and spawns about 10 blocks of ice. If you're hit by the ice when it spawns, you'll be tossed into the air. This is my duty! Have at you! Lastly, he'll summon a wall of ice and shield himself. As long as his shield is up, he will heal, so it's best to try to destroy it quickly. A combination of Ball Lightning, the Reaper E ability, and the Crossbow Q ability can eliminate the shield entirely, even if the ice is in your way. Ideally, you should fight at range and use the pistols or crossbow for damage in this fight. After the halfway mark, you should try to reserve all of your abilities to deal with his ice shield when he uses it. While the prisoners are your allies in this fight, they will take damage and get in the way of your abilities. For skills, Ball Lightning is pretty powerful, especially when combined with the Reaper's E ability. For your second skill, any counterattack will work fine. If you're having trouble with counterattacks, use Blood Fountain for healing instead. I return to the light. I feel stronger. Upon defeat you'll obtain Ice Block, and the recipe to craft Phantom's Veil, one of the best cloaks in the game. Ice Block is an ability that shields and heals you for a couple seconds, but you can't move while you're using it. If you're playing multiplayer, you can use it on an ally to shield them as well. Just make sure to ask for permission first. To leave the Silver Mine, just interact with the front gate so you can get out of here. Just remember that there are guards right outside. During this encounter, if you're lucky, the prisoners will make this fight easy for you. If you can distract Magnus and get the initial nine or more prisoners to attack him, they can do a lot of damage to him while you don't even have to lift a finger. The prisoners do have low health and die in two hits, so this is pretty rare. With this many prisoners on him, they can even take care of his shield for you right away. You will fall by my While recording this, I tried to replicate this strategy as reliably as I could, but I was only able to get the prisoners to take him down half health once. This means there's no easy way to do this. You'll just have to be lucky at the start. The Good luck. will come for you. Acquired. Now that you have a supply of silver ore, 
you should be able to upgrade all of your weapons to tier 3 and make dark silver weapons. You'll lose all of the buffs from the reforged weapons, but these ones will be much stronger. This just means we're going to have to work on reforging tier 3 weapons soon. Until then, bloodsuckers, good night.